Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to sit down and try out these new ColourPop lippy products for you guys. These are called their Glowing Lip. I'm pretty sure this is a brand new formulation from them. They sent them over in PR, so I figured I would do some swatches, show them on my lips for you guys so you can better determine if you would want to pick any up or not. Before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to see these new lip products in action, then let's go ahead and get started. So I'm pretty sure this is a brand new lip formulation from ColourPop. I always get excited when ColourPop releases new lip formulations because I genuinely like a lot of their lip products. I've tried a bunch of their lipsticks, their lip oils, their lip glosses, lippy sticks, lippy pencils, all sorts of stuff in the past from ColourPop. And I really do enjoy almost all of it that I've tried thus far. As I said, all of these lip products were kindly sent to me in PR from ColourPop, which I was so excited about when I got their package in the mail. I'm a little confused though, because when I was told I was going to be receiving ColourPop PR, they told me they were going to be sending me products that are available at Ulta. And as of right now, I don't see these on Ulta's website. So I'm not sure if they are coming to Ulta in the future or not. I assume yes, because the PR I'm supposed to be receiving is available at Ulta. So I was a little confused about that, but this is what the product looks like, the box. It says glowing lip, and then it does have the shade name right here on the end. It says so yummy, so comfy. I'm excited to try these out. So you can get a set of them on ColourPop's website with all nine of them. It comes in nine shades for $55, or you can buy them individually and they retail for $7 each. I was sent eight shades out of nine. I'm not entirely sure why I wasn't sent all nine. It's totally fine. I just wanted to let you know, I unfortunately don't have all nine of them to swatch for you guys. The only one they did not send to me is Highland Avenue and that is described as a warm berry. It looks like a beautiful shade, so I'm really sorry I don't have it here to swatch for you guys, but I'm going to be doing all the other ones. So this is what the actual component looks like and they all are different shades. So like the shade of the actual lip product it comes in the shade of the component which i like when lip products do that so that way you know pretty much exactly what you are getting when you you know reach for it you know like what shade you're reaching for between all of them so again it says color pop glowing lip right there on the package it's got these cute little like star designs on it and then on the back it says a little bit of information it is cruelty free you get 0 0.06 ounces and it's made in the usa and then the component just opens up like this so a little bit about these on ColourPop's website it says they're supposed to be really comfortable on the lips it says this yummy feel-good formula delivers a glossy pop of color that glides on oh so smooth making it perfect for every day or night out with the girls it has lip loving ingredients it's loaded with nourishing argan cocoa, superfruit, and shea butters, plus a vegan collagen to melt onto your lips for a hydrating boost, fuller looking pout. And lastly, it says it's buildable glowy shine. Swipe it on lightly for a subtle snatch or layer it up for an ultra glowy moment. It's totally up to you. So it sounds like these are a little bit more of a changeable formulation where you can go on with a little bit more sheer of a wash or you can build up to fuller opacity. I am so sorry about the lighting in this video. Please bear with me for the next like month or so. It's just the time of year where it's like sunny and then not and sunny and then cloudy, like all within five minutes. And the lighting is just, the sun's going in and out of clouds and it's very annoying. So I am very, very sorry about that. Please bear with me, but let's get started. So like I said, I have eight of them here to show you. I'm going to be swatching from light to dark for you guys. So the first one we have right here is called Indulge Me. This is described as a peachy nude. Figure I will go ahead and do a little swatch on my hand for you guys. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I'm not going to be applying these with any sort of lip liner or anything because I figure A, it would kind of change the color of the shade. And also most of you guys probably don't use lip liners on a daily basis. I myself am in love with makeup and have been for like a decade and a half at this point of my life. And I just started using lip liners regularly a couple months ago. So I figure I would just show you how it looks on their own. So again, this is called Indulge Me. Let me go ahead and apply it for you. Ooh. Okay, so it does feel really creamy on the lips. They definitely glided on very, very easily. So there is that. Let me go ahead and build it up a little bit. They said you can build up the opacity and pigmentation. That is really comfortable. I like that a lot. It definitely isn't too like sticky or anything on the lips. It has a little bit of a scent to it as well. Almost like a vanilla-y scent. This is really nostalgic. 
It's kind of reminding me of like what lip products used to smell like when I was like a teenager and would buy them, like from the drugstore and stuff. Oh, that smells really yummy. It's like vanilla-y and sweet. So if you are sensitive to scents, maybe stay away because I can definitely smell it right now as it's like applied to my lips, um, but it's not like too, too strong or anything like that. So again, this is Indulge Me. Next up, we have Cockatoo, and this is described as a baby pink. So let's go ahead and do a swatch for you guys. Ooh, yeah, that looks like a really beautiful shade. I'm excited about this one. Let's go ahead and try it on. So this is it with a little bit of a sheer wash. I am going to build it up a little bit. This color is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I am loving this like mauve pink. It says it's a baby pink, but on my skin tone, it's definitely pulling more mauve, which I enjoy. I am here for like a mauve pinky, purpley sort of lip. Ooh. This is stunning. And again, just as comfortable as the other one. So one more time, this is Cockatoo. Next up, we have La Senega, I believe. I tried to look up how to pronounce that before I came on camera, and I think that's how you pronounce it. This is described as a nudie pink. So let's do a little bit of a swatch. Ooh. All right, that is really pretty too. It just looks like a little bit more corally than um, Cockatoo, which again, right up my alley. So let's try this one on. These are really easy to apply. You just kind of swipe them on. It takes like two seconds. I feel like this is the type of product that you can just throw in your purse. You don't have to really think about it when you're reapplying it. You don't even really need a mirror, I feel like, to apply them or reapply them, which is really nice. I feel like it's always helpful to have these type of lip products to just toss in your purse and know that you can count on them. So this is a little bit lighter of a wash of this one. I am gonna build it up a little bit. This color is really pretty too. I usually don't like super pinky sort of lips like this, but this shade is really flattering. Also, if you can see, there is a little bit of sheen and glow to it. It does look a little bit glossy, not glossy like a lip gloss, but it definitely gives your lips like a little plumpy juiciness, which I am never mad at. So again, this is La Cienega. Next up we have Let's Jet. This is described as a pinky coral. Do a swatch here. Ooh, okay. That's another really pretty shade. I don't necessarily think this is super corally. It more looks a little bit on the red side, but let's see how it looks on the lips. Ooh, yeah, this is definitely pulling a little bit more berry red sort of tone on me personally, not necessarily coral, but it's still really pretty. Let's build it up a little bit, see what we can get. Yeah, this shade is beautiful. While I don't think it's corally, like I said, it's still a really beautiful, like berry juicy sort of shade. This one almost looks as if you just like ate a popsicle and your lips are just kind of stained, which I typically really like that sort of look. I will say as I'm wiping them off, they aren't really staining my lips. They are more just of a glossy sort of lip color. They don't actually stain your lips, but I do like just how juicy and plump this looks. So again, this is Let's Jet. Next up, we have the shade Get Right, and this is described as a candy red. Ooh, typically with red shades, I like a more mattifying, like dry down, not going anywhere sort of formulation. So we'll see how this goes. Let's do a swatch. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that definitely looks like a really like candy red, apple red sort of shade. So that is with one light layer. I feel like this definitely is one you're going to want to build up. I feel like right now with just one little layer on it, it's looking a bit patchy. So let's build this up and see what it looks like. This is a really beautiful shade, but I will say whenever I want to wear a red lip like this, like I mentioned, I would want to go in with like a red liquid lipstick. One I know is just not going to budge. And because these are so like moisturizing and hydrating, I feel like this would kind of get everywhere. But regardless, it's a really stunning, beautiful, like candy red shade, just like it states. So again, this is the shade Get Right. Next up, we have Museum Date. This is described as a terracotta. I do like a good terracotta shade. Ooh, yeah, that is stunning. That is right up my alley, that beautiful, folly sort of shade. Ooh, I'm here for that. So let's give this a go. 
Ooh, okay. That's definitely a lot darker than I anticipated. Yeah, I feel like with these darker shades, you're not going to want to put like one swipe, one little wash of color. These are ones you're going to want to build up because they are, they're pretty patchy if you don't. But then keep in mind when you do build them up, they do get very like dark and vampy. This is definitely a little bit more vampy than I like to go. However, the good thing about these deeper shades that you could do is just put on a lip liner all over your lips to kind of fill in your lips and give it a little bit of color and then go over maybe with a light layer of this on top. That way you don't need that full opacity. Your lips already have some shade to it and this would just add a little bit of like a glossy, beautiful layer on top. While this is a little bit deeper and vampier than I really go with my lips most of the time it is still a really beautiful shade and again it's comfortable and glossy and shiny and this would be beautiful for the fall time i know we are going into spring and summer but this would be beautiful in the upcoming fall later in the year so again this is museum date second to last we have the shade girl please and this is described as a deep berry so yeah we about to get real deep and vampy up in here let's go ahead and do a little swatch Again, a really beautiful berry purpley sort of shade. I really like all of these tones, like the shade so far. So let's do a little light layer of this. Yeah, as I suspected, a little bit patchy. So I am going to build it up. So kind of like the one I just did, Museum Date, this is like a really vampy sort of shade. This would be perfect for the upcoming fall and winter, later in the, I guess not upcoming, but later in the year, fall and winter. This is just such a beautiful, berry, purpley sort of tone. I love these sort of lip colors in the fall and winter time. Nonetheless, I think the shade is really beautiful. Again, with like the deeper shades like this, I do tend to like more matte sort of lip choices just because they won't go anywhere, but this is really, really beautiful. So again, this is the shade Girl Please. And last but not least, we have the shade Status. This is described as a warm chocolate. I don't know how much use out of a shade like this I would actually get. Yeah, that looks real deep and dark. We shall see. I usually don't wear lip colors this dark, but let's try it out. Yeah, so this is with like a little bit on this. Yeah, these darker shades, you really do have to build up so they're not patchy on the lips. <laughs> I don't know how much use I would actually ever get out of a shade like this just because it is so dark. I think the shade is actually really beautiful. And on someone with a deeper skin tone, this would be absolutely stunning. It is just a little bit too stark, I feel like for me with my fair skin and just how deep and dark it is. But just like all the other ones, it's comfortable, it's juicy, it's shiny. This one definitely is, I feel like, the most patchy, but also my lips are a little uh, dying right now with wiping all the other ones off, you know what I mean? So they are a little bit like dry and patchy themselves probably. But yeah, I don't know how, I don't think I would ever actually wear this shade, but it is still beautiful. So one last time, this is the shade status. All right, I went ahead and put on a lip combination that I felt a little more comfortable with. First, I lined my lips with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade O Snap. A, because I thought these two would go together really nicely. And B, my lip line was wild from putting on and taking off all of those colors. And then I went ahead and put on the shade Cockatoo all over. And I think this combination is beautiful. It's like the most beautiful pinky, purpley, mauve sort of tone. I am here for this. So one last time, here is all the shades swatched for you guys from lightest to darkest on my fair skin tone so you can see. I love all of the shades. I think every single one of them is really beautiful. I don't think I really love them all on myself, but in general, I think all of them are really beautiful. I think ColourPop did a really good job choosing the tones and shades that they release with this product. Am I going to get a lot more use out of the lighter shades than the deep, dark, vampy shades? Yes, for sure. But that's just kind of what goes better with my skin tone and also just personal preference. Again, these retail for $7 each, which I think is a pretty good deal. But then again, it's ColourPop. I feel like they're always nice and affordable and they usually bring us really lovely quality products for a really great price, which you can never be mad at. Let me know down below in the comments which shade was your favorite out of all of them. And if you plan on picking these up, I'm nosy. I love hearing from you guys down below. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.